But hello, this is Shy Jim and we have another update of MCC. What you're watching right now is the new power drop option or realistic power drop that added to MCC. And if you stay tuned to the end, I will show you how to do that easily. Well, as you can see right, right now, we're going at the chopper. A uh, few of the basics that we added, I added a custom key 1 to open MCC, custom key 2 to open the MTAC, the handheld console. You can set the custom from configure, controls, and custom control. As you can see this is the realistic power drop, we have something like that in our material and it's about time we get it back to our material. It's work for AI and players and it's actually make the AI or the player run on the chopper and then jump. It's quite a nice feature. And I hope you're gonna enjoy it. But let's go over the new stuff on MCC. Well, we're here again on the ground. The first thing is I think I finally nailed the fact that the MCC is changing the <coughs> the floating walk issue. I think I nailed it. So let me know if how this is working for you. The second part that you asked for is the save all to SQM and save MCC to SQM. Save all to SQM just as it's saying we save everything in the mission to an SQM file. Save MCC to SQM will only save uh, things that you have put uh, with MCC or with Zeus. Uh, only the, edit, the, the, the thing that you added to the mission uh, will be saved to an SQM so you can work on a mission, add some few stuff, save to MCC and do that again and again and again. Now since we totally reworked the way that the MCC saves thing, I want to show you a small stuff. I'm just gonna gen generate a quick mission. I'm not gonna put any objectives. And I'm just gonna generate it. Okay, we've got Fallen Hurricane somewhere over here. The battle for our Get Rider. Something like that. I'm just gonna shut these things off. And it's. should be. somewhere over here. I'm just gonna teleport myself a bit closer. Well, the first thing that we added is uh, 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 reinforcement. If I'm going to create another zone over here and I'm going to spawn a group over here, let's you know, put two groups in that zone. If you right click on them, you can see that the GUI have changed. There are less information, but the same information, but uh, more reasonable. And you can see the zone they are attached to, the behavior, etc. And you can change the zone, the behavior, and you can give them to player which they can be controlled the, with the console, you can catch them, etc. But you got the response. Response spirit will probably talk about it more. Response means how many times this group can respond. They were going to respond uh, in the place when once where they have first spawned. So let's say this one going to respond five times, and this one going to respond three, three times. Now if you look at the name, you see that there are five respond, five respond, are three, three respond. And I'm gonna just move the zone over here. So, in a bit, guy will take over, and they're gonna move to the zone. What that means that uh, the players will constantly, once this group uh, get uh, annihilated, uh, <coughs> the player constantly gonna get reinforcement from around this mountain uh, to that area. This group five times, this group uh, two times, and this can make a persistent battle. Battle. But uh, the idea that I want to show you is just uh, right now with the the new saving system. You can actually save everything that you have uh, spawned with uh, with MCC. 
So let's say for example, I want to add some new objective. Okay, let's put an officer over oh here. What the hell is wrong with him? An officer over here and some uh, some car over here. Yeah, try to. So if I want to add the objective of killing him, I can change the text etc. I'm just gonna leave it like this and get into the vehicle and I'm gonna put some uh, effects like uh, trace around from this from this town and some more tracer from here and uh, if I want I can add some goats over here just for the atmosphere now if I go to MCC of course you're gonna have this uh, objective the kill the officer and get into the ifri it's uh, normal uh, Zeus behavior but if I'm gonna go and uh, save them let's call it uh, S1 save to profile and I'm gonna relog from the game and load it again you can see that the tasks have been saved oh, I forgot that you can uh, it's also saved the name of the mission the one that you saw to the right hand of the of the of the screen and everything that you have spawned of course you stay there including the modules and the behavior etc and the status of course so if you have played for an hour or two uh, and you made some changes and uh, you want uh, and you're saying hey this officer is killed okay I can kill him if you want to and then save it again you can uh, jump over again and uh, overwrite the save that you already saved and load it again and uh, that way you can have some uh, kind of persistent mission and if we're gonna put the walls we need to you're gonna have some full uh, persistent uh, mission that you can uh, stop save continue and play and uh, the overall experience like, it's uh, very nice that, uh, that you can save everything from Zeus from MCC you get the, the, the boat of uh, both worlds and since some people ask uh, if you press miss and fail or mission succeed you're gonna have some uh, some uh, promote before that and the cargo uh, generator in the 3d editor doesn't now overwrite the object that you once had and all in all it's a great fun <laughs> with the change log and I promised to show you how to make the realistic power job so this work for players AI as I say anything so so I'll just create a few squad Now, the nice thing about it that uh, you can actually spawn on many groups you want to, and it will divide them into uh, chocks, like different helicopters. So I'll just select all of them. And I'm going to press parachute. And now I'll pick a place. Let's drop over Coroni. And you just draw it. And that's about it.